Today, we will simulate multiple seven segment display. When run the project, for digits will show simultaneously on the display. Now start the project. Create a new STM32 project. Select STM32 F103C8T6. Enter project name. Now pin out and configuration diagram. Define 8 output pin for 7 segment display. Define for input pin for ground pin. Under Select System Core, GPIO Configuration, change the setting of input pin to pull up from. From RCC, always set high speed clock as crystal ceramic resonator. Now clock configuration on 70 to mega harch. To generate the code, select Ctrl plus S button on keyboard. Now fill up your code for project requirements. This code declares several variables and arrays of different types and initializes two arrays digit data and ground data with hexadecimal values. This function initializes an array, digits to have all elements set to 10, and then it extracts each digit of the input number, denum one by one, and stores them in the digits array. This line assigns the value 3517 and then performs to separate loops. First loop, it shifts elements of an array, left by 3 bits, and stores the result in another array. In the second loop, it does a similar operation with elements of array, ground data, shifting them left by 7 bits and storing the result in array. This block of code continuously writes data to the GPIOB output register in a loop with slight variations in the data written based on the loop counter K and introduces a small delay between iterations. Now debug the code. Now make a hex file to simulate in Proteus. Now create a Proteus file to simulate in software.
To add components, select this. Search component in this box. Now set all component for your requirement. Complete circuit diagram load the hex file.
Now run the project. Show the simulation is worked successfully.